All right. So last Sunday, I recorded Lancer tier list and I put Bradomar at EX because, like, over Bradomonte, simply because she has a double buster, double quick deck. Bradomonte has double quick, double arts. Uh, with Cosmo Drop, that deck does work a whole lot better than it used to. Don't get me wrong, but you can't deny how much damage double buster, double quick can actually output and like how like it is the best deck for like using all of the quick supports it is the best deck she has two she has four effective cards uh each with their own like strengths like she's not it's not triple buster and then she only has one card that's buffed and then one card strictly for refund uh yeah so i'm gonna just briefly run over brain marks kid again we're gonna talk about the mp buff and yeah let's get started 11.8k attack and forgive me if i'm like really flying by this i literally just went over this kid on sunday that's the only reason all right so 11.8k attack almost 11.9 round it up good starting number hp again a good number at 14k uh usually you have to trade attack for hp it doesn't seem that way like this isn't 12k attack but it's like close enough that it really doesn't matter like the difference between 100 and uh, uh sorry 200 and 190 for like a lot of calculations doesn't matter most of the time it's like it adds up as you like pack on more stuff but in the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter that much uh, over like a much larger difference uh, star weight sergeant normal lancer numbers mp charge healthy at 0.72 three hits on the arts four hits on these quick cards three hits on the buster five hit extra attack her upstairs just looks really solid it doesn't look anything egregious there's nothing like super lacking her her hit counts aren't so like good that she's like better than other servants from other classes but they're decent her quick cards are above average um, and for a Lancer, probably really good that her quick cards are good because most Lancers have better star gen than other classes. First skill, two hits of invincibility for two attacks, three turns. Uh, MP gen up 30% for three turns and then crit attack resistance for three turns. At 30% it pretty much makes it so enemies do not crit you unless they have crit buff so they have to waste a action to buff up their crit uh assassins and riders are where you're gonna see this the most because those tend to crit you all the fucking time especially assassins uh so this isn't the best defensive skills like skill like a lot more people would take like damage cut or defense up but like this is still good like straight crits kill berserker Riddle Mark's not a berserker. So a straight crit is like going to save her a lot of HP, which normally shouldn't have even taken her HP. Wait, like when a archer is like nonstop critting her, yeah, she's going to take damage. She's not in an art scomp. So being able to like mitigate that even more than the invul is just helpful. Not the most amazing thing, not going to apply in farming, but it is noticeable in cqs and you're definitely going to want her to use her in cqs or the fact that now her mp has ramp up second skill 10 stars per turn uh 10 star oh yeah 10 star bomb 10 stars per turn full debuff immunity for three turns and 30 percent crit damage for three turns fairly good crit skill um the debuff immunity was kind of tacked on there i feel they could have moved this to here but i do get that this is like her weakest skill in her entire kit like this doesn't really play much into her damage she's quick she's not gonna need the help getting stars this is more for like turn one stuff and even in turn one you're probably popping like a ruler scotty uh battery uh yeah so this is solid but it's not like super amazing like i feel they could have given her 50 percent um i would have definitely preferred 50 percent over 30 but it, it is what it is if it, like they can go back and actually buff greater mark skills 
uh, they're probably not doing that for Bramante because it's some cost fallacy. It's like we, we have the new we have the new Bramante now. Let's buff this. One. All right. Nah, I'm kidding. They're gonna probably give another buff to Bramante's too. Uh, they're not double buffing her MP. I highly doubt they're gonna double buff her MP. Third skill, thirty percent quick. 30% buster and a 30% battery. So yeah, she uh, l luckily because they did not put, they could have put the battery here and then you would have need all three of her skills leveled. Luckily for everyone, on you only need to level first and third skill. <laughs> Second skill is kind of just a cherry on top but these two is what you need for looping. Her only passive magic is this B which yeah very surprising that a servant in year seven got released and only had a single passive but like passives aren't everything uh and she kind of was like generic also an in training servant like she literally came to caldea so that she could train to be a better knight under morgan just like uh, 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 uh she only that's the only reason she kind of gets a pass like the magic resist is literally just her arm and that's it uh i haven't read through the rest of the morgan fest lotto i should be doing that like after work or after the wake i'm going to yeah i have a wake and funeral again always seems to be happening while i'm doing tier list stuff but it is what it is this unfortunately this relative is Close to the last one that kind of threw off the tier list timing, but I'm we're doing tier list on Sunday. Um, yeah, so passives you need mana loading for farming, it makes your life so much easier. You could ignore this and just bring Oberon, but that's you're uh losing forgivability for that. Um, anti Avenger funny because she, in OC2, she so. Uh, her armor shows up as an Avenger. Uh, skill reloading and crit damage, they're just nice to have. Uh, this is more for stall stuff, like what you do, what I do for the Dragon Scale 90 Star Nodes, or the 90 Star Node for Storm Pods. I and uh, really enjoy having my skills like on a lower cooldown. It makes like the stall drag out fights like a lot quicker. Like she's a quick unit la lol um but yeah like quick i feel like if you're bong reading it just works way better the quick just like works so well for bong reading all right mp so five hit six hit quick aoe ignore invincibility power mod against enemies that have the writing freight and then super effective damage against riders uh, that's what it was before. Buffed MP. They didn't uh, change anything up the damage scaling. Uh, and they made quick res and buster res down activate first. Why is this significant? They have. This is now the. This is. Yeah, no, this is the third time in a row they have prefaced, prefaced putting it. Uh, some kind of ramp up before damage when either it didn't exist or um, like the damage didn't exist or the damage did exist, but it didn't happen first. Uh, in Melt's case, her OC was always quick up, but it always happened and her buff strip, but they always happen after damage. Melt got buffed, happens at, uh, before damage now. Uh, Bob on Chi, he did not have SE on her MP but, and her dots applied after damage. Now she has SE and the dots, the dot and the evil curse amp happens before damage. Brita Mart, quick res and bus res down added and it's before damage. This helps her refund. Uh, this helps her card carding a lot because she doesn't have that much buster in kit. Uh, if you use this with Cosra drop, uh, yeah, like you might start running into problems where that's only a card buff. So like 
if bread and Mart, like at higher copies of bread and Mart, that's actually able to like consistently uh pop like get to the 200 percent 300 300s like when the dot like or not dot uh the res down is actually gonna be noticeable to the point that bread and Mart has more on this on her uh on the res down and bus res like on this stuff then she does her own car buff which is actually really funny because uh while you're while Brenda Mart spamming her mp the second her buff goes away she'll have consistently 30 percent on the enemy at base so even when her buffs go away as long as she was mping all that time uh compared to what she was what she was doing before uh, the buff to after like it's basically that she always has her skill three up that that really is essentially what this is as long as she can keep mping the difference between the buff and pre-buff and post buff is always has one at least 20 percent quick and buster res down is this super massive no but mp buffs always make the scaling a lot better um in a second uh oh yeah let's go through the rest of this uh that's not the worst things these aren't mats that are common you commonly used by other characters except uh metals and that's like with any knights the and all the knight class a lot of them use this especially like actual knights knights of the round table uh morgan's knights a lot of them use that uh fairy scales uh yeah no all, a lot of characters more recently use this map uh but everything else has been like not deprecated but like you don't see them use that often in comparison power mod against riding enemies uh again this is the riding trait not uh rider the class they're not giving power mod to a full class on this yet uh for the party it's usually trait based so yeah, I already had her listed at EX, but she's not in the same tier as Melison. Like that's why I had to make a Melison tier for herself. Um, it, it's just not fair to compare all, all the other characters just to her, because then everyone would just go down. Uh, so yeah, Raider Mart, she's sitting at EX. She doesn't go up Melison tier. She's just a lot more solid. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go into the place and uh, show off like her new damage numbers and peace. All right, so uh, this is what Brito Mart's MP damage is uh, doing double ruler Scotty uh, Oberon at MP1 with uh, MLB Black Rail. Uh, I'm in the QP node as I always do for this test. Um, I also had to do a little bit of like quick math to account for the fact that Brito Mart does less damage to the qp node uh due to uh what is it, sub attribute i think earth, uh Mart is earth and these are sky um so i had to multiply it by 10 and then divide by 9 to get the adjusted like base minimum damage for this mp that's how the place uh calcs this uh they show the absolute minimum damage that you can do uh so if there are, you loop in the place and sometimes your damage like you refund a lot more than what it says you should be looping it's because of like there are min rolls for how high your damage can go like it goes from right here almost 300,000 to 360,000 um yeah so uh with the 0.9 modifier again almost 300,000 and then adjusting using basic math to fix this to what it normally is it's 330,000 damage uh that is a noticeable jump from here uh she pretty much went up 700 uh 70,000 damage uh for final damage output right yeah pretty sure i bought mystic up too yeah okay so very significant um and once again puts Bradamante like kind of in the dirt in the dirt because in that same setup she wasn't looping enough like she wasn't looping as much as Brunamart to begin with 
and then she was oh wait no uh yeah no her looping was not as good because as you can see here loops against positive class and class advantage meaning a 1.0 or 1.1 or 1.2 for mp gains uh while britomar is able to like fully re uh loop against 1.0 there is a chance that now Brutamort can at least loop against assassins or she might be able to like full up loop against everything 333 um that's the kind of thing with mp buffs it's now we're talking about an mp2 Brutamort with the quick res down so with another 10 percent on top uh for looping so yeah this is once again a significant jump uh it really does put britomart now up against the buster servants and as you can see like now she doesn't her competition for the buster servants is melson melson still beats her but this is more consistent damage than melson because if at MP1 without the buffed MP, she was already out damaging Melison's earlier turns, uh, 130, uh, 120,000 consistently up until wave three. Melison does not have that, even though she's running Black Rail as well. Uh, yeah. So she's not Melison tier yet, but if they decide to not buff Melison and they keep buffing Brynamar, it's I don't want to say it's like outside the realm of possibility, but it's just like unlikely that they're going to make an AOE that's like uh, actually that just has so much raw damage that like Melson just isn't up there. Like it, it's it's very hard because of the setup Melson's in. Like Brittle Mart would need like she needs to be fighting anti trait, meaning riders, meaning she's not doing class advantage either. All right, uh, so that's it for me. I'm going to start getting ready for work. Uh, didn't get to do a morning stream, but I'd rather get these videos out uh, with my morning today. All right, peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.